Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in and today guys, look what we have. You may have seen these winged insects fly around during the rainy season. During the night, they are mostly attracted to light, especially when it rains. Perhaps you know them as termites or like many others, you refer to them as white ants, which is absolutely wrong. Although related to ants, termites have some clear cut differences that distinguishes them from their industrious counterparts the ants but one similarity is that they live in colonies the flying termites are the only termites which are sexually developed hence they tend to become the kings and queens in the next colonies in the seasons to come so if you see them flying around in swamps like these it is simply for purposes of breeding in order to start new colonies However, not all termites can fly within their colonies. Termites can be split in three groups, namely the workers, the soldiers, and the alets. Only the alets can fly. Hence, the flying winged termites, also known as the alets, are the ones we refer to as kumbe kumbe. What do you call them in your native language or your mother tongue? I call them tiswa. Next time you are in Western Kenya during the rainy season, feel free to ask for kumbe kumbe and give you a taste bath and awesome experience. In Kenya, especially in Western province, the residents who know the importance of this flying insect, they will do anything to get them at any cost. Most of them, they will even sacrifice their sleep in exchange of this insect. These insects are of great significance in diet. Some consume them raw while others will get and eat them with ugali. Those who consume them, they are supplemented with free proteins. This kumbe kumbe, which is called tiswa in my native language, have been reported to be sensitive to harmful chemicals in the ground. Through experience, villagers have learned that virgin land mounts yield more kumbe kumbe than others. The following are different types of kumbe kumbe with each type having its own name. Type number one, the tiswa. These are black in color and small in size. These are mostly seen during the rainy season from about 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. in the month of September to December. Normally, people erect a small tent which they cover with blanket, leaving an opening that leads to a special hole dug at the opening where kumbe kumbe will slide into, then they are collected. Type number two is called a mavuli in my native language. These are common in the month of December to February. They appear late in the evening from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. They are a bit brownish in color and usually take a short time after they start coming out. Type number three is called Timbolombole. They are brown in color and appear after the season of Amabuli, although they are not eaten. Type number four and the last one is called Amafuetere. These are dark brown in color and they are the biggest in size and normally appear at night. They only appear in April to June. They are captured using light since they are attracted to the light. So next time you are in Western Kenya during the rainy season, kindly feel free to ask for kumbe kumbe or tiswa and give your taste buds an awesome experience. <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking in. Thank you so much for connecting with me through the comment section. For those who like and share, kindly keep on doing so. If you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe. Hit on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first one to know. For the returnees, kindly you're welcome. Enjoy watching the rest of the images. And until we meet again on another interesting video, ciao. Bye.